All right, guys, check these out. A little compare and contrast to uh, first coat of tongue oil, inside and outside. They look pretty sharp. And actually where I like colored in the uh, epoxy, it almost has that like fake worn out look that they do on, I don't know, guitars and stuff. They're like, look at it, it looks beat up. But it's actually super structurally uh, sound. So it's like, it is old, it is beat up, it looks beat up. It's a 60 year old drum. <laughs> but it also looked pretty darn sharp, I gotta say. You throw on some crisp new uh, Ludwig hardware, and you're laughing. Wood is just beautiful. And even if it looks a little uh, jacked up, I mean, it's got character, and it's gonna be really red. And considering that we could have gotten uh, a bunch of color shells for probably at least the same price as all four of these. So if you think about it that way, and not just like a Ludwig vintage kit, we got, we got drum shells. Where there was no drums, there are drums. And that's a cool thing. So, that's pretty dope. Oh, hey there. I'm uh, just trying to fill in this uh, crack here that I got to glue up. So I got my little uh, super thin, they work perfect as little shims for uh, opening up cracks. And I'm just gonna toss a couple in to give me some room to throw in some Lee Valley's uh, wood glue here. And then I'm gonna clamp her up. And this drum is Cremo. Okay. These are my like budget clamps. They're actually pretty darn tight. I know that we could probably use a uh, tighter screwy honor ones, but I think these ones are dope because they got the little plastic padding. They're actually quite tight. And if you use a bunch of them, it seems to have been working so far. You see the glue uh, squeeze up out of the crack. Uh, courtesy of Lee Valley too. These bad boys rep. Two bucks a piece or something. Valley.com <laughs> for all your musical woodworking needs. All right. Now after that, I think this drum is almost ready to be uh, stained, and so we're gonna do our research and figure out what stain. We kind of want to just highlight, highlight the mahogany, <clears throat> and bring out that color. Just about to put on some tongue oil. It seemed like tongue oil was a pretty safe bet. So not a stock kit. There's been work done. Whether it's right or wrong, you know, I'm confident we're gonna tune these bad boys up them and they're gonna sound amazing. It's that simple. So, no worries there. And uh, yeah, so, anyways, so I just did the inside of this one. So, I'm gonna put a thin coat on the outside here to just a random cloth. Um, special note that I did for sanding these drums in preparation of this. I went for a quick little 180 dusting over it, and then I did a 220, and then I did a 320, and then I did a 400. And if we don't like it, then, then we could go and buy a wrap and put on a super dope wrap that looks sick, but we figured the wood was in such good condition that we just have to uh, test it out first. Got my 100% uh, tongue oil from Lee Valley Tools. Also, where the epoxy was, I just took some permanent brown markers. I have a bunch of different shades. Sort of-ish trying to color match, so you can see the epoxy dries almost white. And here we got some there. That seems like it might be a close-ish kind of match. This is a little like red, orangey, but we'll see how it goes. Give it a little one-two. This might actually work out for the better. And whether or not this is sacrilegious to do to drums, whoop de do. Yeah. All right. And so yes, after I sanded it all down, I uh, wiped off all the dust, obviously, and just to make it sure it was super clean. I used some uh, mineral spirits and it's gentle yet effective. It's like me. All right, so here goes. Uh, I'm just gonna try putting on 
small amounts. So as you can see right off the bat, brings out that mahogany. But anyways, I'm gonna rip through these and um, I'll show you what we're working with when we're done. All right. Just put my second coat on the two Tom Toms of the tongue oil and they're just gorgeous. Look at that. Super beauty. Oh yeah. Boom. So I just want to show you guys what, uh, I'm just going to put a little bit on. Really brought out that one. Just give me a little one too if we're working with. I'm going with the uh, smaller coats. So I think two to three coats should do it. And then I have a, uh, a beeswax polish made in the British Columbia. Canadian product from uh, Lee Valley Tools. Shout out. Lee Valley Tools is good because you can just basically buy anything and you know it's gonna be good. You don't have to do too much research. Check out their stuff online. All their products have really good uh, descriptions. Read the description, I'm like, hey, that sounds good. So we're also just waiting on obviously our hardware, but then also we're waiting on a router bit. We got the wrong router bit. I was reading drum forums uh, the other day. A bunch of people asking questions about fixing their own bearing edges. Everyone is discouraged from cutting their own bearing edges, which is funny because it's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. So be not afraid. Also, I did a whole bunch of test cuts with the bit that I did have. Just start getting a feel for it. Not too bad. And then uh, my little brother has like a an Intex super crummy kit. Truth those edges. I don't know how you can't improve it by truing the edges. So basically we got a eighth of an inch round over bit and I should have got a quarter inch. I kind of knew that, but for some reason I didn't get the right one. Oh man, that's popping big time. Just bringing the life into her. And it seems like tongue oil is also safe bet because it's natural kind of wears out after a few years and then you can just uh, reapply. This is like a custom drum restoration. Restoring it precisely, definitely not. Restoring it to uh, play it and have it look nice, yes. Well, it's kind of classic too, just letting the wood be its beautiful self with a nice stain. Precisely. Yeah, it feels like the more sacrilegious thing would have been to. All right, this should be the interesting part where we come over the, uh, I was gonna use dowels to fill these holes, but then the epoxy putty stuff was just so easy to work with and dries so hard that uh, it just kind of made sense to roll with that. Come on. We got some nice freaking custom inlays. Show us the Craviato Tama. Yeah. <laughs> Heavy Adam Tam love their inlays. But these inlays, whoa, that epoxy circular inlay. Come on, what do you want? Best tools are the ones that you have. Best uh, stain is the one you just purchased from the Valley Tools. Show them the Valley Tools. I like. Right. Just give you a quick little clip. This is probably boring, but my uh, unprofessional professional opinion: these drums were dry. Just uh, lube them up a little bit and then uh, smack them around. Lube them up, smack them around. 